there everyone and welcome back to Kaizu Rock. I'm your host, Mr. Fangshin Government Lover. And right now we gotta talk about the Mansetsu Chosabu Construction Collaboration. In light of Japan's recent developments, officials from Mansetsu's research wing have begun to collaborate with our own, providing new tools and best practices so we may sooner achieve the same level of advancement. Excellent. And right now we're doing the develop the northern frontier. The northern reaches of Heliojiang and Jinyang have been dominated by mountainous boreal forests since time immemorial, swept by bitter Siberian winds and inhabited only by passing nomads. Modern technologies can allow settlers to penetrate the hostile environment and pursue rumors of coal, gold, and graphite in the uh, Kingon Mountains. Right now, though, we do or will have a certain individual here who wants to come and say hello to China. So, to do this, we need to do... Couple focuses such as modernize the curriculum, obtain Japanese instructors and J Japanese electric expertise, and Mantetsu civil engineering projects. So right now, the we have the Mantetsu civil engineering projects over there, and we can do electrical expertise for next. Thanks to China's backwardness over the past century, the chaos of the past few decades, and the country the country has few native engineers. Japanese assistance will be essential in bringing modernity to the northeast, and the communications clique nominates a new foreign minister, uh, nominated. Kao Rulin as a replacement for the foreign minister. Although Kao is quite influential within his own party and early stance as interior minister, his decision to sign Japan's freedom demands in 1916 has haunted him for the past two decades. I well, think heard this one before, so if you want to hear about him, please go right ahead. All the sand this power is within the party's second only to its leader, Liang Shiyi. So, Kao Rulin. Oh, he's right here. Kao Rulin is right here. He's a social conservative. And he wants to be the. Um. Foreign Minister, Head of Government, Foreign Minister. Wow, he's going to be really busy. So, where's Cal here? Get more political power refuse? Um, communications clique gets more influence. Can we allow that? We probably can allow that. Yeah, not bad. We'll point Cal. But after this one, we'll get some into artillery. It is almost 38, which is good to remember. Um, what else here? Anything else we really care about? Not too much. 37. Anything for 37? Radar, maybe? Yeah, let's get some radar. We do have four research slots, which is pretty nice, but we'll do Feng Chan Society for Light Metals. Significant deposits of bauxite and uh, alunite have been known to exist in Feng Chan province for many years, but recent advances by Mantetsu sponsored laboratories in Fushun and Tokyo have enabled an aluminum production via a number of electrochemical processes. Nice. Uh, we're down here as well, having a good old time, even though we're just kind of hanging out. Uh, let's see, we're down here as well, still kind of hanging out. And Dutch East Indies versus Insul India. Uh, we actually like both factions. But if you're fighting Western imperialists, we'll probably go with that idea. Uh, let's see. You guys are only 12 combo with, which is not great. Uh, you, though, are... Even worse! Oh. Why do you pain me so? Yeah, I'll take you, because we can. Why not? Uh, you're not great as a general, but we'll send you. But a couple comments include, try out the right KMT in Yunnan or other warlords. Eventually, I would like to. I think it'd be a lot of fun if we tried that, so. Eventually, we will. And since we're still here in Spain, we might as well help out, right? Right? They don't have that much organization. We should be able to win, right? Especially with a lot of help from other Spanish soldiers as we're getting attacked. Oh, boy. Yeah, go and hold first. We don't want you to lose your position here, so. Oh, they are fighting over... Oh, we are mountains, and they're fighting over a river, which is surprising. They're using tanks, though, which is kind of concerning as well. How are we doing down here? I don't know why they just keep trying to attack here. Nanjing is nice, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, like, come on, bros. Uh, over here, oh boy, oh boy. This might have been a bad idea. Yeah, we're probably going to get encircled here. Encourage Japanese investment. Um, required to remove the investment dearth national spirit. Not bad. More Concordia or encourage Chinese investment. Chinese investment is at the heart of our efforts to return at least some of the control of Feng Chin's economy to its people instead of Mantetsu. Incentives and careful planning are the only way forward. Or, unfortunately, foreign capital is crucial to our development efforts, so we must make attempts to attract Japanese alongside Chinese investors. While they won't receive the same incentives as their own citizens, they should be comforted by our recent filling of the silver reserves. So basically, we can get more Concordia influence. And it's cheaper, definitely cheaper. Which is not bad. Uh, one following must be true. The solar reserve is full. Fiction dollars been reintroduced. I want to encourage Chinese investments more. And we definitely got to do this so we get some more organization. Oh my goodness. Build the rail line, which would be nice, but Fortress Manchuria would be nice as well. But we just do have to save our political power for this as well. We don't honestly don't get that much, so we'll see what happens. I just don't want to get encircled and destroyed here, so. You guys get an attack, that's fine. 
Absorb the attacks. If, ooh, embrace the attacks. And get down here if you can as well. These Chinese allies are going a little crazy here. Oh boy. Woohoo. Very nice, very nice. Get over that river if you possibly can. Um, honestly, it'd be better just to attack here. Like, it's smarter to attack and cut these guys off. Ooh. <coughs> right here. Excavation, nice. It is 38. Happy 1938, everybody. Hope you're having a great, 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 great year. God, I wish we could send more planes this way. The Five Colors. The Jilin Film Association has today released its first feature, a sweeping ethnographic detail on the diverse populations of the Northeast, from the snow-capped pines of Hil Heilongjiang to the fertile banks of the Lower Liao River, espousing the values of the National Five Races under one union policy. Thanks to the government assistance, the association was able to easily access a number of remote locations in order to film and better spread its message of unity and harmony, though some criticism has been leveled at its coverage of Koreans and Japanese, many of whom also cohabit in the Northeast, but are not officially part of the five races designed in the national flag overall. And despite its relatively small screening due to limited theater numbers, the film has been considered a great success. Small successes paved the road to victory. Nice. Follow Batavia. Oh, look at that. Nice. If you can kill that division, that would be great. Uh, anything else? Explode Japanese officers. We're definitely not doing that yet. Um, I think we could do this one at least. More construction speed. Bonus political power. Why not? You guys are doing fine. You guys are doing hopefully okay-ish here. Prince Khan In arrives. Oh, crap. The Japanese consulate in Shenyang has handed the government notice of the arrival of Prince Khan In, who recently disembarked the battleship Nagato in Port Arthur Harbor. In accordance with his ranks, the occasion is being given all the pomp and circumstance of a state visit, uh, and the prince shall travel to north to Shenyang for a formal reception by the Grand Marshal, followed by a tour of the country. Various ministers and generals have made assurances as to the prince's safety, as it would be a political disaster for any harm to come to a member of the imperial family, but the absence of certain security measures has left them privately concerned. Welcome, Prince Kanin. Well, what are we supposed to do? We didn't get any time to do anything here. That's BS, man. It's absolute BS. Uh, the Feng Shui Society for Light Metals. So, if you're worried about that, again, please go right ahead. But, Montetsu Civil Engineering Projects in the Iron Tiger. Well, the Japanese have much to benefit directly from large civil engineering projects in Feng Xian. They also do indirectly by helping to present our regime as successful at improving the everyday lives of citizens in this respect. Our interests are mutually aligned. Nice. In the other tiger, after arriving at the Grand Marshal's residence in Shenyang, the prince was ceremoniously received in the tiger room by prominent members of the assembly and Zhang Zulin himself, before touring the former palace of the Qing dynasty, which has since been converted for use by the government. He also took some time to visit the Shenyang arsenal in the city's northwest suburbs. The evening was finished by an elegant state dinner, in the Chinese style, during which was a toast was made to the special relationship between the China and Japan. Unfortunately, Kotohito made note of the poor state of our soldiers' equipment, and commented on it to considerable embarrassment. The prince plans to leave Plans to leave Shenyang in a few days for an inspection of defenses to the south, but rumors swirl that an attempt could be made on his life. A great honor. Uh, the visit must be counseled for his safety. I'm sorry, but honestly, we were not given enough time to do anything here, so... I'm not sure what, what, what we say, so... Yeah. I'd rather lose the political power. We don't want to have a issue with the Japanese currently, so... Oh, you guys are doing okay-ish. If I do this, I feel like we're just going to get encircled here anyways, but... Nice. Keep going. Zhang Klik nominates a new interior minister of Yuan Jinkal. Unlike many of his faction, he's much he's as much of a bureaucrat, which I read as Boar for, so... Uh, sure, why not? Ecuador? Nice more divisions, awesome. Keep it there for now. We're definitely going to get in a circle here, aren't we? Maybe. We'll see. Um, this group does not have little mana power. they got quite a bit. You guys have enough as well. Do, do okay. But you just don't have enough divisions for anything here. I mean, if I have to sacrifice this division for more army XP, so be it. But, like, I'd rather not. You're getting attacked, which is fine. And you're doing... Okay, -ish. 1v1, you should be able to win. Right? No. Fall of Burgos? We do have extra reinforcements here now, so... Indo-Chinese volunteers are still struggling down here, too. Yeah, we're definitely struggling down here. We're struggling on all fronts right now. Oh, that's not good. How did we lose, man? Barati coming, I swear, man. Go in there if you can. They will not reject us. No, no, no. 
Nice. Just don't get encircled, for the love of God. Please, for the love of God, do not get encircled. Go in here. God dang it, you stupid horses. Now they're attacking us again. It's fine. You're gonna, you won anyways. Um, the Dutch are here. They're running out of equipment, it looks like, though, which is nice to see. Do what you can. You might just be able to win. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. As we are pushing down further south, which is pretty nice. We did get Nanjing. Look at that. Nice. Uh, I don't think it would be very beneficial to help support the attack here. Yeah, you guys lost, so... Oh, we were so close to getting down here. They left KMT. Oh, my goodness. Civil engineering, nice. Anything else? We're pretty relatively close for this one. Aluminum extraction would be nice. Uh, oh, okay, so we canceled the thing, so we lost everything there. Okay, so we have to worry about them anymore. All right, encourage Japanese investment. Um, do we encourage Chinese investment already? Railway construction. Building the Jilin Hailong Rhyme. With the reorganization of Northeast Transportation Committee complete, several new railways have been proposed for the construction and, in some cases, completion. The first major project is the Jilin Hailong Railway, which originally planned in 27, which met serious delays due to the interruption of the war in the south and the Japanese attempts to stall construction. The line has been operating in limited capacity since 1931, but remains incomplete with both Mansetsu and a collection of smaller Chinese companies vying for the contract to continue building. The Japanese claim, and perhaps correctly, that they should have they could have the railway complete in half the time due to the resources and expansion and expertise. But choosing a Chinese company would do great to demonstrate Chinese strength and de independence. We just gotta make sure that the Concordia group still has some influence, so choose Mansetsu for now. That's fine. Fine. The Zhang Zulin Radio Incident. What has come to be known as the Zhang Zulin Radio Incident? Azili Subversive was able to record a frank conversation between the Grand Marshal and his generals and transmitted over widely used frequencies in Shenyang for nearly 40 minutes before being jammed by a nearby Montetsu owned station. The conversation, which the Grand Marshal described enemies of the North, South, East, and West, puts Feng Shen's relations with Japan in unconventionally blunt terms damaging to her propaganda and Japan's interests. The broadcast was doubly damaging thanks to its capture of Zhang discussing the realities of the Beijing government's relative industrial and military strength and the, the degree to which we must rely on the Japanese for crucial technology. Something which we have been careful to conceal from the public. Honestly, we're going to lose stuff. Do we need aluminum? Yeah, we technically do. Mm, put us in the hole. Like laws, it's better not to see Hong Chang being made. Well, I did the best we could there, so... Oh, French and Chad. Modern curriculum, just because modernized curriculum, because we get land auction. The modern Japanese curriculum, designed to counter Russian aggression on the plains of Manchuria, emphasizes morale factors and tenacity of the will, stressing training de designed to develop the ability to recognize opportunities for decisive attack, enveloping open enemy flanks, encircling formations, and thus destroying numerically and technologically superior foes. The Concordia Association nominates a new academic minister. Uh, they nominated Ruan Zen Duo for the position of economic minister, though trained as a doctor and not as an economist. It has extensive ties to the Japanese in the medical field, which I've read before. If you want to continue reading this, please go ahead. Yeah. Appoint him? Nah. Counterfeit kind of dollar spread. In order to save money, the version of the Fang Ching dollar being circulated currently is the same as it was when it was first issued. As printing quality, equipment is highly expensive. This seems to have left the currency open to forgery, however, and is already believed to be thousands of fake Fang Ching dollars circulating. They'll be caught eventually. Which is not good. That they were found out. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to win down there. God dang it. Yeah, well, it's winning somewhat here -ish and, Well, not really. Doing okay ish here. Radio detection's nice. Uh, I'll get some of that too. Nice. Go ahead and grab some of this too. Man, we're just doing the best we can. We're literally trying to do the best we possibly can. Oh, I got plenty of. No, well, not plenty, but quite a few guns, which is pretty nice. Shandong still fighting, which is awesome. Indochina. Well, we're still struggling. The fall of New York City, nice. Yeah, there's not much we can really do. We just gotta hang out all over the place here. Just massive assaults all over the place here. Uh, delays plague Mantetsu Railway Construction. Despite Mantetsu's excellent engineers and equipment, the current railway construction project has encountered repeated delays as workers unaccountably go missing, materials vanish in the night, and bandit raids the camps alongside the rails only to disappear before Japanese troops arrive. Local police and intelligence services are unwilling to do much to investigate or solve these repeated incidents, instead preferring to watch the railways of the Japanese squirm. The fact that Mantetsu received their contract to build the railway is well known to the public, and some patriotic citizens appear to have taken matters into their own hands. What a pity. God dang it. We should have just done the Chinese group then. That's dumb, man. That's dumb.
But we are at 87 army XP still, so they're pretty much done down here for now. Y'all still fighting down here. Spain, we just saw. We're still fighting over there. Here, we're doing okay-ish. Transmuted currency in Habim. Transmurians propose that we allow transactions between our currency and the Transmurian ruble in Habim, which is the largest Russian population in the whole Northeast. The government of Vladivostok says that we should be able, or we are able to tax these transactions. Moreover, such an agreement would have a positive influence the uh, industrial development of the city as well as the region, where the local Russian business started to make various investments. But some members of our government mentioned that the free use of the Transmurian ruble can lead to the increase of Habim's autonomy. Why not? Wuzi? Wuzi? Might as well. Portugal join the Entente. We'll get luck with that. Portugal. Come on, guys. Please give it a better go than this. They, they, they don't even have... The only supplies to get are here. Quite literally. Well, I knew we'd get encircled. My bad. Trying to do all this stuff is impossible. If we can get up here, that'd be great. I'm waiting for this division to leave first, though. So, modern ice curriculum. God dang it. Oh, my bad, guys. I just knew that would happen. Why Why do you spawn a civil war without having divisions up here? Why? What is that type of design? That is not very good design, man. I don't like that. But maybe it's just me. Well, there's plenty of soldiers to go around, I guess. I'd love to do forced attack, but... We'll see. You guys actually probably do well here and take these divisions out too. Indochina. That's kind of at a standstill for now. Oh, never mind. They just started going crazy again. Oh, it's going crazy. But after modernized curriculum, moral indoctrination sounds pretty good. Points for land doctrine? Uh, who do they nominate? Liang Shi Yi. So, appoint Liang Shi Yi for the communications clique. Interior minister. And he does not like who. Uh, Kao Rulin. As much as I want him, but... I hate that if you refuse somebody, you lose political power. I just do not like that at all. Moral indoctrination wouldn't be bad. You do that one. Uh, Japanese training emphasizes the importance of the human factor maintaining a continuous offensive, with the belief that spirit can triumph over steel. This requires serious moral indoctrination. Good job, Uruguay. You're, good job. Hop out here. 90 army XP is not bad. Get in there so we don't lose Saigon. Man, we're just struggling over here, aren't we? Keep going in. You're doing a great job. Doing a great. In three weeks, we'll have more technology. And it's 38, July 6th, so. A couple comments include as well. Do the legation city sometimes. Someone says I should align to the Japanese. I should play as Transmur, or I should play more Kaiser Redux, which. Not wrong about that. Wait. Oh, they're going to war with the Sichuan clique. Oh, boy. As Tibet is still trying to kill off my clique with Mongolia. Wow, you guys do be taking a while with that one. Oh, boy. It's just a gigantic mess. Reorganized coastal defense, dockyards, naval doctrine, nine point strategy would not be bad. New model army. I do like that one. I think we'll go with maybe that one. Expand Anshan Mines. Ooh, re require to move backward industry. And get some civvies out. Yao Lu and Shang Songhua hydroelectricity. After we do computer machine, of course. In which we're going to grab. Uh, we're doing well on that stuff, too, actually. Uh, we got that stuff going, which is pretty good as well. I guess we'll get some synthetic oil eventually, maybe. Uh, expand the mines with this one first. Manchuria's abundant coal deposits make for an excellent power source, but the strong currents of the Yalu and Songhua rivers could provide additional power at minimal expense. With Japanese expertise, we might harness these mighty rivers to power more homes and industry. Not a bad idea. Oh, there we go. Yay! With this political power, we get more organization and less experienced soldiers' losses. Good. Um, I don't want to hurt. The recovery of the leak can go down a little bit more. That's fine. It's required, so... The War of Kassab, huh? You guys actually win there? No, it's not. Let's wait. Um, you might actually want some Mountaineers. Actually, let's get some Mountaineers. Why not? We'll try it. Shandong. And they nominate Liang Shi Yi. 
Well, now we need more communications, Cleek, so. Armenian Uprising, nice. But he doesn't like cow. Can't really afford to lose anyone else, though. So. And we immediately get attacked, which I thought what would, what would, what would be what would happen there. You guys go in there, into China. Just. He's learning a lot. I love it. You get more infantry attack. You get an ambusher. We're going to need that ambusher probably eventually. Let's be real here. 1.46. Moral indoctrination is nice. Unscrupulous governance. Mintetsu prop. Oh my gosh. Civi six civvies of them. An end to the investment shortage. After roughly a decade of limited external or internal investment beyond the government's own, Feng Chuan has made itself a reliable and trustworthy location for prosperous growth. Going from strength to strength and with the fires of industry behind us, our prospects of retaking the country are growing by the day. As we begin other development projects, we should begin to see our investment efforts open up related opportunities, finally. And the Jilin Haifang line is complete. After months of construction and various unfortunate delays, the Jilin Hailong line is finally complete, extending the reach of our rail, main rail system into areas otherwise difficult to access. After reviewing plans and available resources, the NTC will undoubtedly be prepared to issue another contract. Great, great news. Awesome. I know I'm waiting to do this by a whole lot, but I will get down here first. Hmm. Compliance growth speed's pretty good. And bonus political power. Not bad. We need more communications and less Concordia. The Chongchong Dai Lai Line. The NTC's next major project is the Chongchong Dai Lai Line, which is originally proposed by the Japanese connect Manta to smaller provincial lines with central lines running through major cities. This work in particular serves a strategic purpose, as it should ease the movement of men and materials from the north to south significantly. While the line does not while it does have Japanese origins that would serve to extend Mantetsu's reach, NTC planners nonetheless notice practical value as before. Then Tetsu offers to carry out the construction process themselves, but Chinese companies stand ready to perform the same task. Yeah, we need more of these guys, so that's fine. Fine with us. Oh, and Wuxi is finally ours as well. Nice. These guys are actually making headway, which is kind of surprising, but yeah, not bad. And you guys are struggling down here. I should never trust uh, the east into those guys down over there. Uh, Just going to build ourselves up a little bit more, 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 more. Um, get more political power, cities, industry... I want to do a new model army, which would be good as well. But <sighs> Shanghai investigates a Ho Tong Fun. As Feng Shan is the sole and legitimate government of China, it attracts various charitable donations from all over, with some coming from Sir Robert Ho Tong of Hong Kong. As part of the monetary fraud crackdown, the legation cities began to close in on disrupting Hong Ho Tong's benevolent donations to the cause of the Grand Marshal. There are many Chinese men in Shanghai who would gladly do our dirty work for the right price, but to sway them would be cost a substantial bribe. Though if Shanghai's investigation bears fruit, it could severely damage our finances. Eh, we'll try, why not? Up next. I do want to expand the arsenal. Rearm the northeast is probably a good idea. So we'll read that next. Market your store, that's nice. Prepare defenses, grab some grand assault, that'd be good. So that's this one first. Rearm the northeast. The Shenyang Arsenal was once China's greatest military industrial enterprise, but the past decade has seen it eclipsed by the combined production of other Chinese arsenals, such as those at Hanyang, Baoding, and Jiannang. We must reclaim the, our place at the top, and in doing so, reduce our allowance in Japanese military aid. We can begin by stamping out corruption and increasing production quotas. Not bad. Go, go more. We, we just need more. Uh, since we're here, do that one too. After the grenade just start this Jaja. Actually, we'll probably go get construction just because we have a bonus and the penalty won't be severe. So, railway construction workers strike. Chinese workers complaining inadequate pay and difficult working conditions have refused to return to work in a carefully coordinated strike. Despite the presence of railway railway unions in the northeast, the coordination in this instance suggests the involvement <clears throat> of the communications clique, possibly as an attempt to. Uh, demonstrate their influence and retaliate for, for some perceived slight. While this turn of events uh, affects them too, the Japanese are happy to watch a squabble amongst themselves. The strike will end, but not without causing significant delays. Oh crud. New interior minister, a graduate of the University of the Green Forest, Ma Zhangshan, shares something of a bond with Zhang Zulin, as masterful horsemanship and sharp shooting kills skills have turned him into something of a popular legend. However, the same background has left him illiterate, particularly hostile to the Japanese and without any formal military training whatsoever. Already members of the other factions have voiced their complaints about the placement of an abandoned lord in the cabinet, including some other members of the Zhang clique, and it seems clear that the appointment was secured by Ma's patron Wu Junsheng. So. Why not? It's all about balance here, right? It's all about balance. Good or bad. But I will say, we do have a good amount right now of, uh... Well, depending here, which is nice. Go here. Um... Balance and of ideologies. Now here we're probably going to be losing a little bit more. 
Uh, you might be able to win here, maybe. You guys are only 12 combo with, which does suck quite a bit, but... Honestly... Can I at least... I'm going to throw at least artillery support on you guys. Do we have enough support equipment? Yeah, that's fine, too. Everyone needs horses. they got to be at least halfway decent. New model army, but I'm gonna do this one first. We're going to the northeast. Oh, look at this, nice. If you can actually win it, that'd be awesome. No guarantees though, and you guys are still hanging out doing okay. You guys all become this. Now you're actually quite a bit stronger, which is good to see. Expel Japanese officers, not yet. Alicante. If you force the attack, you could probably win there. They can't get any more organization, so. Look at that. Nice. We're actually doing relatively okay. But the new model army, just in case. Uh, our new officer corps is well now schooled in the most modern Japanese strategies and tactics available. Now that all that remains is to begin the process of graduation, deployment, and integration with the regular troops. Absolutely. Why did our horses leave that area? There you go. Two more divisions, go bye bye, yes please. That's how you do it. Very good. Oh, it's only, this one's only 50. Oh. Militarize a minching truck. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. War in the desert, but what about the oil? It's always about the oil, isn't it? Great Syrian revolt. As you're just still down here, just hanging out. Because we have an arranger, though. Oh, he's got a little biography, too. Juan Fulin. But it's almost 39, which means it's almost time for good old times. Yeah, we actually pushed these guys down pretty far down south. Wow. And what are we building up? Honestly, our industry could be a lot worse. And uh, what does the Concordia nominate? They nominate Yi Zhishan for the position of economic minister. An army officer through and through, he is a pra takes a pragmatic approach to Feng Shin's, uh position vis-a-vis -vis Japan. Seeing his only way for Feng Shin to reconquer the South and for China to, as a whole to retain its identity in the face of Western domination. With the great deal of experience managing supply lines and weapons of production during the war, Yu is likely to pursue a policy of emphasizing military industrialization, closely aligning his position with the interests of the Kwantung army. Point him? I don't want any more uh, that their influence, so I refuse it. Fine. Whatever. Sejuan, you actually, we should be helping you out. We really should be helping you out. So we get an idea of how strong the enemies are. No air bases, huh? Alright, well, whatever. Ooh, oh boy. Started the third Boer War. Our finest hour. If you want to about our finest hour, please go ahead. What a childish fantasy. After that one, expand the Shenyang Arsenal. Because we could use that military factory. China's largest military industrial enterprise throughout the 20s, the enormous Shenyang Arsenal produces a wide variety of modified small arms and, and artillery. They're usually based around designs acquired from overseas. By expanding its operations and introducing new equipment, we could substantially increase its output. Nice. Very nice. Definitely want to make at least one of these divisions. This will be very useful in China. Jehol. Fall of Cape Town? All I want is numbers. Numbers, 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 numbers. Oh boy. Well, the Reds are probably going to win here. Which, I mean, honestly, doesn't really matter to me too much, but still. Go on in if you can. And if no one's here, and you can do something like that, I think that'd be great. I think that'd be really swell. Wait, would you look at that? And a circlement. Beautiful. Nanchang? Of course, we don't want to end this too quickly, but still. And they're still fighting down here. Awesome. And you're still fighting over there, too. Awesome. Son, don't try to encircle us, please. 
We're gonna try to encircle this, yeah. Section three, nice. And get some output. Go, horses, boys, go! Hey, look at an encirclement. You were defeated? That sucks, bro. Come on. Hey, we got there before they did. Nice. Ah, uh, sucks. Yeah, get all the equipment you need right now. There you go. If you do that, you might be able to win, maybe? No? Yes? Yes? Yay! Alright, anything else? Uh, continue army reform, militarized minching truck. In the early 30s, Zhang Zhu Liang commissioned an American engineer to create China's first domestically produced automobile called Minsheng, or People's Livelihood. Whenever mass produced, then with the right modifications, these hardy trucks can be adopted to serve military purposes. Why not? Why not, you know? El Salvador and Guatemala. Shang-Chi Cleep is. Wow, Cleep? The Cleek. Why do I have. Oh, they want less than. Oh. Yeah, okay. Who? I get it. I get All it. Alright, everyone. So the Beijing government just declared war on the Shandong clique, which is not good, even though they just beat up the KMT at this point. We're doing the expand the Shenyang arsenal. I think we should open up the propaganda front, though. Sometimes the most decisive battles are fought on one of the hearts and minds. We fought a passive war of wars with the Beijing government ever since 1928, and other times come to begin a new offensive and redouble our efforts. 10,000 years to the Republic. So at this point, I think we need to go to war, because these guys are consolidating a bit too much for my liking. Um... They got a lot of divisions. Holy crap, they have a lot. Also, like I said earlier, the KMT did lose, so we basically won those guys over there. Um, we're doing that too. Open up the propaganda front. I'm, I'm not sure what's going to happen if we do that. What's wrong with you, Hungry? Oh, the Danubian Federation form. Look at that. Huh. We have White Ruthenia, and I think Germany went to war with uh, the Ukrainians who rebelled against them. So, uh, if you want to buy this guy, please go right ahead. Zeng is driven from Jinan. Uh, Concordia Association. Actually, where are they out for that? Uh, 24% repoint them. Nah. And also, the Iberian Federation is here. And it was the Reds that won. So, unfortunate. But whatever. The Beijing government attacked Shangxi. With traitorous rats in Beijing have launched a sneak attack on our former ally in Shangxi. Governor Yang Shishan has asked for assistance in defeating the Beijing government. But we cannot simply pivot to attacking them. Many of our generals fear our forces are unready for such a large conflict. And our Japanese backers have not yet signed off on such a quick attack. We can either override these generals at the cost of some political power. Or wait three months to say they need to prepare their troops. Inform Yan, we will assist them, of course. We could also refuse to get involved at all, and I do apologize for saving the game, but it's always better to be safe than sorry, so. Prepare the troops. Launch an attack. Yeah, we'll see what happens, and then probably from Beijing to the Begonia Leaf. For decades, students and nationalists have compared the shape of China, that is to say China undivided, to the shape of a Begonia Leaf. With Beijing in her hands, it's come to reclaim all of the homeland and make the Begonia Leaf a reality. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, we'll see what happens. If we can't do that one next, then we'll probably go ahead and just keep doing expand the Anshan Mines. The enormous iron deposits on Anshan have been described as being of the world-class significance, and should on nearly 7 million tons of iron with the potential to triple output by 1942. This expansion seems likely to propel Anshan towards becoming one of East Asia's largest industrial centers. Not bad. Get some more cap. Follow Buenos Aires. Nice. Um, Ma, do you have anything here? No. But if we can move fast enough, we can do probably really well. I don't want to fight the Japanese at the same time as the other Chinese warlords, but, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Cool. Oh, the line's complete. The new Chongchung Dai Lai line is now stands among the most modern in China, taking full advantage of the more recent technologies and visually demonstrating the sheer gap in time between the older lines originating in the 20s. Truly, the Northeast is moving towards a brighter future. Set limit, 200. That's because you can't combine them both. Cool. Continue army reform, which is something we want to do, but build the Taonan Suo Lun line. Yes. The last of the NTC's major construction projects is the Taonan Su Suo Lun line, which, like other recent works, serves to connect major lines to otherwise difficult areas to reach. Unlike the previous line, however, this will connect directly to the Chinese Eastern Railway, theoretically keeping Mansetsu's creeping influence further from its operation. All the same, Mansetsu offers to construct the railroad, uh, likely hoping to salvage at least something from the situation. 
Communication fleet will go down. Um, we can hurt Uncordian X by quite a bit soon. That's what we're going to war with them anyways. So that would be good. I would like to grab some of these guys eventually because we just don't have enough time to grab these guys. But Jilly, jo everyone's joining a third international, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Yes, Shang-Chi, do not die. Do not die, Shang-Chi. Tibet do be looking a little thicker. Not necessarily a good way. Hey, the Republic of China's here, though. New Guangxi clique. Led by Li Zongren. League of East Chinese Provinces. Look at that. Strong Japanese collaboration. Oh, boy. Open propaganda fronts. And then, not that one yet. We'll expand the mines. Ooh, this would be pretty good to do as well. Diversify armament production. Well, we gotta go that way. Oh, nice. It's got more divisions just in time. I hope. I'm hoping that the Japanese do not attack us anytime soon. Um... That's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. More military factory speed would be nice, though. If we could wait, uh, expand the Ancient Mines have been sold to Mantetsu. Oh. Research times would be so much better. But what else do we have? Hmm. I want to wait, sort of. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we really need more attack and defense. Maybe more population, organization, war economy as well, plain stuff. Cast. I want better, at least fighters. Dong Bai. I think that'd be good, but you only have so much political power, right? So, and we might need to raise the conscription level too. R promote er national identitism. The end of the last Zifang War in 1928 saw so the exile of China's once thriving Republic of Movement to the Northeast ever since. Our forces have faced off against Zili troops of the Shanghai Guan, while Germany and Japan have off way to silent war of espionage across the coastal cities. One day soon, China will be reclaimed and reunited. Despite successful attempts to suppress the northeastern regionalist movement, a certain amount of apathy remains among the general population. In order to drum up the full support necessary for the national reclamation, we must begin a wide-reaching propaganda campaign. Nice. They nominate a new uh, uh, minister. Um, Zhang Zuliang, which I think I read before as well, is a serious opium addiction, not only dueling his skills and intelligence, but also running something of a political risk. Most self-respecting Chinese view opium with a great deal of distrust over its role in Western exploitation of the country. Although Zhu Lang is his son, this could be reason enough for the Grand Marshal to refuse the appointment. Yeah, no. You know, Zili clique would not be bad, but no. We're not going to deal with that stuff. We are not going to deal with that. Okay, Bulgaria join the Dona Adria Boon. Good for them. Come on, Shang. -Chi. Actually, you can see volunteers. Only single division could be simple. That's fine. Please let us send you volunteers. Okay, that's good. Just to help you survive and get more army XP, like that's super, super important. Even more division organization would be nice. We have 30% less division organization and 45 more experience soldiers' losses, which is ugh, not good. Actually, our industry is looking not bad. It's still the same as it was earlier, but still. I expect nice. Oh, they, oh hello. I don't mind going to something, to something lower, but still. Oh, actually, we don't need... Oh, nice. Good. What the heck? Alright, there you go. And just accept as many blows as possible, because I want to go to war with them. I really do. They have a lot of manpower, but it looks like they're probably going to be running out of guns eventually, because they keep attacking and such, so... We'll see. Easter Seas War, oh boy. Can the Germans hold out this time? Probably not. So if I control wouldn't be bad. Yeah, not bad. This is going a lot better than I thought it would. Of course, they're attacking that rapidly, 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 but still. As long as we don't attack, we'll be okay. Or just hold there. Yeah, just get some more experience, guys. Um, We're still in Indochina, though. We're still holding out here. Holy crap. Argentinian free territory, all right then. Expand the mines first. Nice. It's still 39. The artillery is good. The induction is coming along. Get some more extraction because he can. And get some better guns. Nice. All right, so we expanded the mines. And the joint companies. 
uh, establish the uh, support sign of Japanese joint companies. A great number of businesses in Feng Shan offer shares of both Chinese and Japanese, including the famous Mansetsu, infamous Mansetsu, but relatively few Chinese have the funds to invest, and as a result, most joint companies are Japanese dominated. Government backing may permit us to provide means and incentives to fellow Chinese and gradually shift this balance. Not a bad idea. Or was this one? The ancient Chinese idiom, forget not what happened in Zhu, alludes, alludes to the desperate defense of Zhu, a city of Qi's final bastion, from which it lead a successful campaign to reclaim all of its lost territory. Manchuria shall be our Zhu, from which we will reclaim all of, our China, all of China. Escalate the propaganda war. We sustained an intermittent propaganda war against the Beijing government for the past eight years. Now we must raise our voice and expand our reach. It allows us to declare war on the traitors of the South. Nice. The Song of the White Orchid. In the time since its initial release, the Matsetsu Film Association has put out several more films, each garnering some measure of attention and generally following the understandings agreed at its foundation. The latest film, Song of the White Orchid, has attracted a notable attention, however. The piece involves a romantic and entanglement ent between a Japanese man, Kazuo Hasegawa, and a Chinese woman, Li Zhongan, where Li leaves her lover through a misunderstanding and joins a Manchu bandit group plotting to sabotage the South Manchuria Railway. She later learns of the deliberate arrangement of this misunderstanding by Zili's spies, renews her faith in Hasegawa, and undermines the Manchu plot. Both protagonists seem clear to allegories for their respective countries and concerns have been raised, but the anti Zili propaganda value is significant, and thus the theme tune is just so catchy. Good. Nice. Expand the Anshan Mines. The enormous iron deposits in Anshan have been described as being of world class significance and turn out nearly 7 million tons of iron. Which. Yeah, which I've read before, so do that one, because we have the PP4 right now, so. We might not always have it eventually, but keep going. Are you all getting attacked or are you attacking? Oh, you're attacking. Nice. And now you're getting attacked. Which is also very nice. Like in Indo China. I kind of saw that one coming, but. Oh! The War of National Reclamation. Our appointed hours finally arrived. In the coming days. The fruits of over a decade of extensive planning and preparation will finally be brought to bear against the enemy, and the first steps will be taken on their path to national reunification. All that remains is to stride forward and see the moment. Ten thousand years to the Grand Marshal Zeng. Ten thousand years to the Republic. History will remember this day, my friends. They've lost a lot of guys. Wow. Nice. So with all this extra pee-pee, we can... Oh, okay. oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Ah. I would like to get some army stuff here, but uh, I want it. I really want to do this one, but we have not sold it. So can't you show us steelworks, which I'd love to do. This wouldn't be bad, but uh, might take some collaboration. As much as I want to do that one now, we'll go Anchon Iron and Steel, just because I'm not going to sell companies to Japan. I refuse to. I'm sorry. Not really. No, I'm not. Go in. Go in. Immediately go in. Take Beijing if we can. Take Beijing. Take it. 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 They fall of Detroit. Do not let them move. For the love of God, we gotta get Beijing back, baby. Yes, please. Go, go, go. Oh, Beijing is gonna be ours. The fall of Beijing will not lose Beijing a second time, my friends. Nice. We gotta hold it for a month. We gotta hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. The all states ultimatum. The Recovery League nominates a new foreign minister. Feeling confident in the growing influence of the government, the Recovery League has set its sights on the office of economic minister, proposing Wang Yitong as a replacement for the current occupant. He has some history in the Northeast and served in Jilin at the start of his career, but ultimately his loyalties lay with the Anhui clique. With the collapse, he returned to the Northeast in 27 was purely pragmatic. Now a member of the Recovery League, his nomination alongside his extant role as Minister of Foreign Affairs seems to be evident of his growing power within the party, more than any particular fiscal or uh, financial merit. Thanks to the Recovery League's strong position government, only the Grand Marshal himself can stand in the way of appointment. Welcome aboard. The matter of occupation. Occupations are never easy or simple, but the average Chinese soldier is often a little better than a bandit with marching orders. Already troops have begun burning, looting, and defiling the same towns and villages that our government claims to be liberating. Some will say that we should let the troops have their fun, but now the Grand Marshal Zhang Zulin is again competing on the national stage. He must consider his image. He was once a bandit himself, and he, here many in the South have had a hard time showing respect to or taking orders from a former criminal. Already the elite have turned up their noses, and while force may be an easy answer, we do need these intellectuals, landlords, and businessmen to afford our greater aims. It is these figures through whom we must rule. Unfortunately, our the logistic system is sufficient to feed our soldiers, meaning our men are not looting for survival, but nonetheless, they will be unhappy to be kept from what they see as a right by conquest. Here we must choose. Liberators are liberated. Let them have their fun. We are not bandits anymore. Yeah. It's fine. So be it. War propaganda? Yes. Absolutely right now. Go, go, go. For the love of God, grow, grow, grow. Go in, go in, go in, crush them all. 
Ah, the second Velt Krieg. Very good. Ride high. Oh, you're an infantry guy, huh? You guys, Matic. We've broken over the river, boys. We've done it. Infantry offensives. Yes. Wu Wang Zai Zhu. Grand Marshal Zhang Zulin delivered a short but powerful speech alluding to the historical uh, state or uh, of Qi, which went on the brink of defeat at the siege of Zhu, turned to the tide and eventually won the war. This is to be our example as we march forward against those who would keep China weak and divided. Read the text of speech. The years since the formation of a government have laid for us a solid foundation for a national right generation. We fear no problems, nor are we concerned over impending dangers. We merely lament the fate of the South, the freedom which was originally brought about by the hard efforts and sacrifices of four reformist patriots, which has been since erased by the old and outmoded forms of government. Today, her people are powerless, and her rulers without integrity, and thus allowing the slow degradation of the national condition. And the return uh, to a state of local total subservience to Western nations, these old ways are sapping China's national strength and shaking her national foundations and subjugating her people. It is thus that we find ourselves in the North, as the final bastion of all that our predecessors struggled to build, and as the bearers of the fruit of a new China, and the future of a new China. The aggressive Zealand government likes to say that, by fortifying the Northeast, we are digging a hole to die, and to this I say, forget not what happened in Zhu. It was to Zhu that the state of Qi retreated, and from there that it reconquered that all had been lost. When the time is right, the Northeast will be our Zhu, and the whole of China will be our Qi. Victory is inevitable, long live the Republic, one sui. Which, I don't speak Chinese, but I kind of figure that's what they, they'd be saying, so... Be aggressive. Be very aggressive. Also, I forgot about this too. Oh, planes. There you go. Nice. If they refuse to move, then go around them. Seriously, just go... Oh, god dang it. You piece of garbage. They're pushing through here. They're pushing through here as well, so like... I can't imagine these guys keeping it up for long. Just because of the stockpile that they, they probably don't have. Boy, oh. Hey, line's complete. With the completion of the Taolin Suilin line, the Northeast Transportation Commission can focus on smaller projects and ensuring that China's railways remain Chinese. The second task will undoubtedly be a challenge all to itself. Once we. Dalai Lama. Nice. Keep going, keep going. You guys go here. Russia intervenes in the Valkyrie. Nice. That's a good idea, yeah, good. Yes. Advanced Machine Tools. It is almost 40. Very nice. National Reunification Conference. Having broken through the Shanghai Pass, army sent shockwaves across the nation when they seized the city of Beijing. And once again, the five-colored flag flies above the city. With this victory, we've taken the first major step towards national reunification and soon resumed our role as an active contender for national leadership. Attending to seize the moment, Marshal Zheng has ordered his staff to begin assembling a plan for the peaceful unification of China. If put into motion, and more importantly agreed upon, it would see the remaining provinces in China united without any further bloodshed, raising the legitimacy of our government immeasurably. The plan is not without its opponents, of course, as some politicians doubt an undertaking of the scale can be accomplished, while some members of the military believe that diplomacy will only prevent the formation of a strong central authority and leave the country again united in name only. We must carefully consider this decision, as a stone or oak of a pen here could have a far bigger impact on any order the old marshal has given in his long and historic career. Send the invitations. At least three participants must agree to attend the last conference to begin. Um, I don't know. Let's send the invitation and see what happens. But after the whole support this thing, we'll establish a Jin Zin uh, industrial zone. Xin Zhu's docks in a strategic position in the Laoshi Corridor, which connects land transportation between North and South Northeast China, make it a prime target for government incentivized development. It remains to be seen whether special rules will be applied to this zone favoring Chinese or Japanese companies. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will finish this war against the evil Beijing government and begin and continue our reclamation of all of China. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.